President Biden's executive order on energy could eliminate more than 18,000 jobs a year in some Western states. That is according to a new study from the University of Wyoming and Wyoming Energy Authority that also estimates more than $19 billion in large lost wages over the next four years. Wyoming's governor says the measure banning oil and gas leases on federal lands is a direct attack on Wyoming. And Wyoming Governor Mark Gordon joins us right now uh, from Cheyenne. Governor, good morning to you. Good morning. Good to be here. Okay, so we're not talking about the, uh, the pulling the plug on the Keystone. We're talking about he signed as well an executive order to stop oil and gas leasing on federal lands. And one of the problems for you in Wyoming is you actually get a lot of money from the federal government in the form of taxes. And that money's gonna go away, isn't it? Well, it is, uh, and that's one of the big concerns. 48% of our, of our state is uh, federally owned. Uh, anything you do here uh, in the energy space probably has some aspect of federal leasing associated with it. Uh, losing that revenue is devastating to our schools. Devastating to our communities, devastating to those small businesses that really depend on the energy sector. Um, so, it's a big deal. Yeah, it's it's a big deal. So, mm -hmm. with all that money just out the window, how are you going to fund the schools? How are you going to uh, you know fund healthcare programs? How are you going to fund all that stuff? That's that's exactly the issue. And, and you know, really going back to 1920, with uh, when they first started leasing federal minerals, there was a recognition that uh, there was an impact in the West uh, in these lands and, and there was a certain amount of revenue sharing that went, uh, that went with that. Uh, we've, we've seen the impacts, we've built the communities elsewhere, uh, and now it's important that we recognize the responsibilities. This Biden ban really has a, a devastating effect, not just for Wyoming, it's bipartisan in its devastation. You know, I've talked to uh, governors in places like New Mexico and Louisiana. Uh, it's, uh, those are both Democrat states, yeah. North Dakota, uh, Alaska. This is just devastating. Okay, so if, if the federal government's gonna pull the plug on, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, that would be going into your coffers, has the federal government said, you know what, Wyoming, because we did that, we're gonna help you out in this department and give you some other money. Has that conversation happened yet, or are they not that far along? Um, well, one would say that uh, it hasn't happened yet. They probably are saying, we'll help you out. There's obviously this discussion about being able to train new uh, workers with new jobs and new capacities, but it's not a one-for-one -one kind of thing. And, and I think the wages that are paid in the energy sector are remarkable. Uh, they're long-standing long jobs, and from the point of view of environmental impact, when you look at a place like uh, Gillette, which has benefited from years over years of energy development, it's really established itself as a pretty remarkable town. And then you look at what happens with just sort of a big uh, group of people coming to construct renewables and then leaving, right. it's a little bit different impact on our communities. Well, Governor, after uh, Joe Biden issued that executive order, uh, you called that ban a direct attack on Wyoming, and you issued your own executive order. What's your executive order doing? Well, I asked all of our agencies, top to bottom, from education right through social services to our environmental, uh, the work we're doing on environmental mitigation and others. Uh, you know, Wyoming has a very long-standing tradition on our, managing our wildlife, protecting wildlife mi migration corridors, et cetera. And I, top to bottom, said, what is this going to cost the state? Yeah. Tell me how color uh, exactly what it means to our state and our ability to function. Uh, and I look for that order to come back. All right. Well, keep us posted because we're very concerned about what's happening out there. Uh, the governor well, of the great, uh, pardon me, sir. Uh, the governor of the great state of Wyoming, Mark Gordon, thank you very much for joining us today and good luck to you. Thank you.